I warmly welcome you to my channel. Today we will be discussing about, how we can compress a large MP4 video into a smaller one, to reduce the storage capacity required in our computer, laptop, or mobile phone. Further, when we create a new video using photos or short video clips, the final video output file, becomes very large. For example, a compiled video where the playback time is less than 10 minutes, will become 400 MBs in size. If we try to store this file in our computer, laptop, or mobile phone, it will require a large space. On the same time, if we try to upload same video in YouTube or any other video channel, it will take a lot of time to upload, and at the same time it will cost you a large volume of data, to upload from your data connection. To overcome these practical problems, we can use a software to downsize our videos to save space, and to have convenience in uploading videos into video channels. In the present marketplaces, there are so many sophisticated softwares, where you can get your job done in minutes. But the only problem is, they are expensive, and need to be purchased in the first hand. Among such paid softwares, there is a free software called Handbrake, where it can be used to get your things done free of charge. This program is free to use and can be redistributed or modified, under the terms of the general public license, as published by the Free Software Foundation. This program is distributed in the hope, that it will be useful for most of the people, but without any kind of warranty. First we will look at the software interface in a summarized manner. Here I will be explaining on the features of, Handbrake version 1.2.1. 201-902-1700 Open source button is where, you can select your file, that is expected to be compressed from your computer. Add to queue button is where, you can select another file, that is to be compressed when the first job is completed. Start and code button is where, you can start your conversion process. Presets button is where, you can have your best preferred settings saved, for repeated future use. Now I will show you my preferred settings, where I compressed a file of 391 megabytes, into a smaller file size of 64.1 megabytes, where the compression ratio is almost 1 sixth. In other words, the compressed file is 16.39% smaller than the original file. That means the compressed files has become 83.61% smaller than the original file size. Even though we get a very smaller file after the compression, the quality of the video seems to be very perfect. Now let's look at the settings, where you can get the best compression mentioned above. First we will look at the summary tab. There we should select the file format as MP4, and then put a tick in web optimized checkbox, and leave all other selections blank. Now let's look at the dimensions tab. Anamorphic selection, should be set to none, and modulus should be set to, 2. Width of the video, should be set to 1920, and height to 1080. Cropping should be selected as custom, and top, left, right and bottom margins should be set to 0. Now let us look at the Filters tab. Detelesigny, Interlace Detection, Deinterlace, Denoise, Sharpen and D-Block Selection options, all should be set to off. Grayscale and Flip checkboxes should be kept blank, and Rotate Selection option should be set to zero. Now let us look at the video tab. Video codec should be set to H264, X264, frame rate should be selected from the drop down list and set to, same as source, and variable frame rate should be clicked and selected. Optimize video slide bar should be set to read slow. Encoder tune, should be set to none, encoder profile should be main, encoder level should be set to auto, Fast decode checkbox should be left blank. Quality slide bar should be set to read 24RF, which will show lower quality. Click on the average bitrate, KBPS, and leave the box blank. 
2 pass encoding and turbo first pass checkboxes should be marked with two ticks. Now let us look at the audio tab. Codec should be set to AAC of codec and bitrate should be set to 160 and mix down should be stereo. Subtitles and chapters tabs should be left as it is. Then we have to browse a folder to save our new compressed and downsized file, by clicking on the browse button located on the lower right hand side. Next we have to click on the start and code button, to start the compression process. Once the compression is started, the status bar at the bottom of the window, will show you the progress of the compression, and other related details for your reference. You can save your settings as a preset by clicking on the add button, which is located on the bottom right hand side on the window. Hope this video was informative enough, for you to understand the compression process. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.